Hey, this is Mikey with another tutorial, and instead of doing an After Effects tutorial, we're going to be talking about one of the new features in Premiere Pro CC 2015. Now, one of the new standout features in Premiere Pro is the Lumetri color grading, and it's really, really incredible. And I wanted to kind of talk about that and some cool features with it that can help out with uh, your color grading. So I've got two examples here where these clips both need some color work on them. You can see they're both a little bit orange and yellow. So let's talk about how to use this. First off in Premiere Pro, we have this new uh, tab selections up at the top here. And if I were to just click on this where it says color, it switches everything over into a now kind of a color panel. I click on my clip and the Lumetri color is automatically over on the side. Now this clip I wanted to show you because there's some particular problems with it that make it a little bit more difficult um, with just a basic curves or something like that to fix. So let's go into this basic correction and we've got white balance. Um, if you haven't seen this, you got your basic correction where you can do white balance and exposure contrast, that kind of stuff. Um, we can go into creative and do you know sharpen, vibrant, saturation. We have just a curves. Um, section and then we can go into the, your traditional color wheels um, or add a, a vignette as well which is really cool but mostly I like to start with the white balance and the basic correction the whole thing's a little bit too orange so I'm going to bump the blue and I'm looking kind of at the white here on this shirt and maybe it's a little bit green now so let's bring in the magenta and on the two people, I like the way um, that the skin tones look, but overall, I still feel like there's a bit too much orange. And the reason for that is because this was in a mixed light environment and the color temperatures weren't even throughout the store and it was hard to get a good white balance. And I found a good way of fixing that is with a new tool in the uh, Lumetri Color is the saturation curve. And it's very, very, very cool and I find it very useful for a situation like this where overall your color looks pretty good but there's just maybe a a wash of a certain color you know again I might bring up the exposure a little bit and the contrast brighten it up a little bit but really let's go down to the curves and there's the RGB curve and the hue saturation curve and so the hue saturation curve is what I want to do and I want to pull out some of that orangey maybe a little bit of green um, look to it so all you have to do They've got these presets down here, uh, purple, blue, uh, all the way to red, green, orange, yellow, that kind of thing. You click on it and it'll automatically stick in these points. Double click in the center, turns it off. I can actually put in my own points as well. But then I can reduce the saturation just in that certain color range. You know, I, you can see as I go way too far, it's starting to look funny, right? All that saturation is gone um, but let's just dip it down a little bit and you can see with just a little bit of uh, reducing the saturation in the color uh, that I didn't like in here you can see what that did so there it is on turn it off there's kind of a yellowy green wash over it turn it back on again it's gone. It didn't affect any of the skin tones. It didn't affect these two people in the shot. It just overall kind of fixed that. Now that's something you can't really do with just a basic uh, curves. The saturation curve, really, really, really cool. Um, let's do another example. Um, this one is a very, very mixed light and um, didn't white balance properly with this shot. Um, so let's show this one. Let's go to color correction, click on it, uh, the Lumetri color will come up. So we come in here to the basic color and if I start to white balance this and get it kind of where I want, um, the skin tones and the foreground look pretty good but the background you can see is obviously way too orange. Um, the reason for this is the lights in the room were one color temperature, the lights lighting the subject were another. And so, 
very, very um, heavy mixed uh, color temperature situation. Um, but the th same thing can go with this. So let's color balance. What you want to do first is color correct for the foreground for the subject, the main part of your video, and get it looking the way you want. And then I'm going to go down to the curves, into the saturation curve again, and let's, again, drop down on the part that was the bad color right there and right there that's looking a hundred times better and then if I want to come in to the vignette and kind of do that to help focus maybe even add a little bit more saturation now that I I dip down the color the offending color and looking pretty good Right there, on and off. So that's the Lumetri Color Corrector in Premiere Pro. Really, really amazing. Definitely check out the saturation curve. I find it a lifesaver. If you ever have um, some footage with some mixed light where you've got different color temperatures, um, this can probably save a shot. So go check it out. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.